Firstly, I need to download an image from the Raspberry Pi.org site. So open Safari and enter the web address www.raspberrypi.org Now navigate to the Downloads page by clicking the link at the top and scrolling down till you get to the image you require. For this video I will choose the Raspberry and Wheezy image. Simply click on the image and wait for the zip file to download. Next we need to open a terminal which will allow us to enter the instructions to transfer the image from the download directory on your Mac to the SD card. To do this press F4, click on utilities folder and click on the terminal. When the terminal is open the first thing we need to do is to compare the checksum for the file that we downloaded from the Raspberry Pi.org site with that quoted on the site. To produce a checksum we need to type in the terminal sha sum space tilde slash downloads slash and then the name of the file that you downloaded from the site. If the numbers are the same then we can proceed to transferring this image to the SD card. To prepare the SD card for the transfer of the image we first need to erase all the data on the SD card and format it. To do this press F4, select utilities and select Disk Utility. Put in the SD card, select it, select Erase, enter a name for the card if you require it, and click Erase. and again. Ensure before transferring the image to the SD card that it has been unzipped to an IMG file in your downloads directory. To transfer the image first of all type df Minus H. This gives you a list of disks and images on the Mac. Put your SD card in the reader. And retype DF minus H. We can see that the SD card is slash dev slash disk 1 S1. So to continue with the transfer, first unmount the SD card by typing sudo disk util unmount and the address of the card. Now Transfer the image to the SD card by typing sudo 
dt bs equals 1 n if equals tilde downloads and the name of the file And now put the SD card remembering to put R before disk and leaving off the S1. transfer will take a few minutes and the Mac will give you no indication of progress. When the transfer is complete, remove the SD card from the Mac and put it in the Raspberry Pi and switch on. After switching on your Raspberry Pi, type your login at the Raspberry Pi login with the username Pi followed by the password Raspberry. After successfully logging in, type StartX. After typing StartX, the visual environment will appear, allowing you to navigate with your keyboard and mouse. Look out for further videos, giving you more information about using the Raspberry Pi. Thank you.